you all guys are doing well. I hope you had a good weekend um, and were able to to uh, worship with your family um, on Sunday. Uh, we're hoping that that doesn't last too much longer and we can be back together again soon. Um, just wanted to bring a, a few thoughts from the His Life devotional. Uh, this week is focused on Jesus as prophet, and um, it's a it's a topic that we don't focus on a lot because we when we think of Jesus we think more of the Son of God and, and that's what he is but um, uh, this devotional is kind of taking us through each aspect of who Jesus was and part of who Jesus was was a prophet and that's what he was seen most as early on in his ministry um, no one could deny the works that he was doing uh, even the Pharisees um, couldn't deny what was going on. Nicodemus comes to him uh, at night and he says, we know that you you are a prophet in, in John chapter 3 and um, because the works that you do, uh, no man could do. Like, we, we know you're a prophet. Um, but the, the And there were a few others just before that and at the end of John chapter 2, um, you have a lot of people who saw the things that Jesus were doing and, and believed in him, but Jesus says Jesus doesn't entrust himself to him because he knows he knows them um, he knows that they haven't taken that next step uh, and that they just see him as a prophet um, and the the writer of the devotional kind of talks about what a prophet is um, a prophet is somebody who's filled with a message from God and uh, delivers it to the people and, and in the Old Testament that message was backed by signs uh, and miracles that, that the prophet performed uh, to kind of um, prove that that his message was true and that his message was from God. Um, but one issue that can come with that is focusing too much on the prophet, uh, which they did. In John chapter 6, um, you have a crowd that, that forms around Jesus and and they um, had just just witness the feeding of the 5,000 Jesus giving them all this bread and and um, and feeding them out of out of very little and um, they said to him then what sign do you do in verse 30 that we may see and believe in you what work do you perform our fathers ate the manna in the wilderness as it is written he gave them bread from heaven to eat and um, and uh, just before this, you have you have them saying that that um, Moses was the one who who gave them bread in the wilderness, and um, that Moses performed the sign. and And Jesus is quick to say, "No, it, it wasn't Moses who did this, but it was God who who um, performed this miracle uh, to give them bread." and and um, the problem was focusing too much on what what was happening. Uh, they wanted to see the bread come from heaven again. Um, that was it. they wanted they wanted that as proof. Uh, they said, if you're really from God, then then allow bread bread to come down from heaven. Like, show us that you are our God. And and Jesus is like, no, you're not understanding it. I am I am the bread from heaven. I am the bread of life, and uh, I'm the one who gives life. And so. Um, you have a little, uh, there's a little mix up with, um, in the minds of some of the believers where they see Jesus as a prophet, someone from God, or with a message from God, but Jesus takes it a step further and he says, I'm, I'm, I don't just have a message from God, I, I am from God. And, um, and, and, uh, he, that's the message that he wants them to believe, uh, but one that they, they struggle in believing. And so um, to see Jesus as a prophet is not just to see Jesus uh, as somebody who performs miracles from God or, or has a message from God, but somebody who is from God, the Son of God, who's come down uh, to wash away the sins of the world. Um, something very, very powerful. And, and the things that Jesus did, um, the signs that, that he performed, um, are are wonderful, are are extraordinary. Left the people in awe, but uh, for some people, it, it didn't 
that's where it stopped. Uh, they, they were in awe of what Jesus could do. Um, they were astonished with what Jesus could do, but they didn't take that next step in believing who Jesus was and where he came from. So as, as we think of Jesus as prophet, may we be able to see that that he he's not just filled with a message from God or, or filled with miracles from God, but that he is from God, that he is the son of God. I um, hope you guys have an awesome week. I would look forward to studying more about what this means as Jesus as a prophet. Thank you, guys. Hope to see you soon.